Hey guys and welcome to another video Photoshop tutorial here on psdbot.com YouTube channel and this is just gonna be a quick tutorial to show you how I apply this flame effect over the vintage car here and also the ground region uh, if you wanted to check out the full tutorial of this artwork uh, just click on the link below in the description uh, for this video tutorial I'll just be showing you the uh, flame application of the onto the car and also the ground region. All right, let's get started. All right, as you can see, we've got the car and the ground ready. We just need to add the flame onto the car. All right, let's just go into this flame image, and uh, we'll, what I did is I used the lasso tool with a forty pixel feather. I made a selection of the tip of the flame. What we're going to do is we're going to copy that selection and we're going to paste that onto our image. Press Ctrl plus T. Use the free transform tool. Just rotate the flame a bit. until the flame covers the car so we're gonna use the eraser tool I used a size 175 pixel with zero hardness um, set the opacity to 60% and flow to about 70% it's gonna gently go over the edge just to fade the edge Then we're going to slightly increase the contrast by using the levels adjustment. So going to image adjustment, uh, I'm going to use the levels, uh, slightly adjust the input levels. Okay, I think 28 is, uh, is about right. Alright, so we're going to change the blend mode of this layer from normal to screen. And I'm going to just duplicate this layer a couple of times. Yeah, just to make the flame more visible. So for the ground part of the flame, we can duplicate this layer again. Just move that to the ground region. Just slightly adjust the size of the flame. It's going to use the eraser tool again. Just fade the bottom of the flame over the ground. Yeah, if you wanted to fine tune the color of the flame, you can use a adjustment layer. I use the selective color adjustment layer. Yeah, so just basically fine-tune the sign and magenta. That's it for this flame application. If you go into the full image here, I use the same technique to add flame over the building and also the plan area. You just need to remember um, making, making a soft selection using lasso tool, the feather setting enable the edge to be soft it's not gonna look hard when you make the copy uh, onto onto our image 
and also make sure you set the um, layer blend mode to screen. Uh, this will get rid of the, the dark part of the flame, so it will reveal car underneath. That's it for this uh, tutorial. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.